for everyone around tomorrow, which I, I'm not going to be happy with it, but I, that's my job. Sorry, I just wanted to... Uh, project somewhere else we don't want you okay and we've told you over and over again 84 percent of the peninsula on a poll that we took from all different community leaders and sent it to the company and they won't take no for an answer we've said it in english we've said it in french we've said it in mi'kmaq we are all mi'kmaq people and they're driving us off our land because we're not going to be able to live there so thank you very much so do you not uh, yeah. trust the environmental process? Do you not trust the, the stewards over our land uh, no. who, are, no. who are helping to shepherd this through? No. I'll tell you why. When something goes on and, uh, like for example, they came into the Port of Port Peninsula in the beginning to do a men tower in West Bay and in mainland. We went out there and asked them for their permits. Road Energy GH2 didn't have any permits to be there working. Okay? So, we were scrambling around trying to find the permits and lo and behold, they were shut down for three days. And on the Saturday, October 5th, the minister signed the permit for them to continue working on a Saturday. Then he realized, oh, this is a Saturday, didn't initial it and put the eight there. Okay, so the government, the people, the to lobby the government prior to the wind moratorium being lifted and we have each of information stating that so how can we trust this company how can we trust this government if they're collaborating too closely together we know about the fishing trip you know fury and risley down at the cabin fishing so we know they're friends friend in paddock i mean he left now for went to world energy so he has the inside information on the wind uh it's just it's just too too much of a closeness between the government and this company. So, yeah, we have what, no faith. What do you say to those who say, look, this, this is green energy, we need green energy, we need jobs, mm -hmm. Port Peninsula needs jobs. That argument, how do you uh, uh, respond to that argument? Okay, I'm a leader in my community. I've been running the community for the last 10 years. I don't see anybody in my community that needs a job. Everybody is good, and, and even on the Port of Port Peninsula, I don't see a lot of people that are in need of a job. And if they need a job, they can go to Stephenville. There's lots of positions in Stephenville for work. What I would say is, this is probably a little greener than maybe the oil sands in, in Alberta, but it's not green energy. When you have to blow the tops off mountains and destroy trees, uh, nesting birds, drive out the wildlife, uh, ruin our traditional ways of living, our quad trails, our berry picking, and expose us to harmful chemicals and shadow flicker, that's not green energy. Where we are right now is green. And we also have a large um, uh, limestone uh, quarry in Lower Cove right now. Good morning. So we're exposed to a lot of dust and uh, industrial noise right now. Um, and that's 24 seven. And, and it's like nine months out of the year. So we already have a large industry there. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is just too much for the Port of Peninsula. It's only a small area. You're all Mi'kmaq people right. in this area. Um, the Halibu have MOUs with World Energy GH2 and right. with MREC and Central as well. Do you feel that the Halibu did enough consultation with its membership before going into these, these MOUs? There was zero uh, consultation with the members of, of Halibu. Zero consultation. And uh, the funny thing is, Jason Benoit, who has been pushing this project uh, on behalf of Benoit First Nation member, which, which I'm a member of, um, did a poll on his uh, on his Facebook page, and when the poll got up to 60% against the project, he took it down. I didn't even get a chance to vote. A lot of my family and friends didn't get a chance to vote. When it comes to Holocaust, they've been silent. They don't talk to their members at all. They fly all over the world, supposedly representing us, saying that they consulted with us. There's been zero consultation with Holocaust. And Jenny Brink, I'm very disappointed in her because she's saying that she met with the communities and the municipalities. I've never seen her. I've never seen her. So where are you, Jenny Bray? Right? And and uh, same with Jason Benbaugh. Like, unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. So if the leaders are making decisions on our behalf, we not nothing to do with us. Yeah, it's very disappointing. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes. Oh my God.